welcome back to monthly favorites this time it is for me so i've got three camilla's got a few more so Many maybe more. you should kick off okay i just want to start by saying all of these are products that i bought overseas so i'm very sorry <laughs> sorry for you <laughs> um if however you live in america yay <laughs> you're about to lock out <laughs> um so i'm gonna start with the thing i love the most i haven't even played with it yet it's the nars Narcissus palette Oh, it is pretty. Okay, I don't know quite how I'm going to do this because it has the world's largest mirror. But, oh, there it is. Um, when I say I've used this every single day since I've bought it, it's no exaggeration. Um, initially, mm. I thought the paler colors were a bit kind of wishy-washy. But I'm finding uses for them. Like this one, this top top left is like I use in the inner corner. And I've been using a lot of the... Mm. Oh, it's, it's just beautiful. And the nice. quality of the shadows is amazing. Oh, there we go. Um, so yes, very pleased with that. Um, and another little duo that I've been really loving is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blusher in Exposed and Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. And I layer, I start off with Tarte. Okay. You can do it. Um, <gasps> oh. It's like the perfect nude kind of Shut very up. basic so blush. Kiff. It's beautiful. It doesn't swatch doesn't well. swatch at all. No, but it, on um, the cheeks it's beautiful. That's really pretty. Mm. So let me just It's got like you. a light... Um, Almost like a glow to it, not yeah. not shimmery, this, but so this is the color, Ooh. which I have been loving. I've used it every single day, and the twelve-hour claims are completely legit. It stays put. And then I use a little bit of this, which is Luminoso, on top. Um, it's quite shimmery, so best worn on its own in the warmer months, I think. But um, to add a little bit of life to my cheeks, I love it. Mm. Your turn, pretty. Um, okay, my first one is from Clinique, and it is their new Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief Moisturizer. Sure, sure is. Uh, so Clinique, the Moisture Surge range in general is really good for dry and dehydrated skin. Um, and the reason that I love this so much is because, first of all, it's a gel cream. So it's very, very light, which is great for people like me who are slightly oily, because my skin obviously has a decent amount of oil in it naturally, so it's not dry, but it's still dehydrated, which means it doesn't get enough water. Um, so you, it can lead to sort of dehydration lines and just a general kind of dullness on the skin. Um, and this has just helped so much. It's just a beautiful formula. You put it on, it sinks in straight away. It's so light, it's totally non-greasy. You can feel that it's just so full of water itself. The formula itself is just obviously kind of water-based and it just, Oh, it feels great and it really does. It's helped my little kind of chronic dry patch here. Um, what I do in the morning is I put my serum on and then I put um, a little bit of hydrolyr on here and then I put that moisturizer all over my face. And my skin is so, so smooth and soft at the moment and I think that's got a lot to do with it. I can confirm it is. <laughs> um, oh, it's so good. So if you are struggling with dry oh, skin um, almost, in winter, um, then go and get it. It almost becomes serum-like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Silicone-y. Oh, it's but so in a good, good way, not in a creepy way. And they also do, like in the Moisture Surge range, there are other moisturizers and an overnight mask. And I think there's like a spritz, special spritz. The mask is like the yeah. bomb. Yeah. No, so. Oh, really cool. Love that. Um, okay, next on to my two little skincare favorites. And I actually want you to put a picture of my face that I sent you yesterday. Um, but it was literally just like three or four really big, angry, red, raised spots. And I was like, oh. So I sent it to Julia and she was like, well, that's too bad. <laughs> um, I was very so, sympathetic. <laughs> last night I popped on some of this drying lotion from Mario Badescu that I bought, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Badescu, Badescu, whatever, um, that I bought from Nordstrom's. And it's, I don't know if you can see from there, but it's like a two-tone formula. So it's calamine here and then a salicylic acid formulation on the top and you... Dream team, basically. Yeah, so you pop in, so the, the calamine will calm the redness and the salicylic acid will dry out the spot. So you take a um, cotton bud and you put it into, you just pop it into the lotion at the bottom and then you apply it and it dries and you sleep with it. And this so morning, you don't shake it up first? No, you mustn't shake it. Oh, see, I would totally be... No, they say here specifically, do not shake. <laughs> ah, that's interesting, okay. Um, and it is amazing. I woke up this morning and they're still there, but they are flat. Much better. Much better. I mean, this stuff's phenomenal. I just, I can't... Yeah, that's, I mean, that's like known for being like the Crazy best... amazing. Like spot treatment. Mm. And this is um, a facial spray which I bought, which is from the same brand. Um, and it's just got aloe and rose water in it, basically. Nice. Um, it's incredibly hydrating. It smells delicious. It smells just like my Botanics one. Does it? Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's lovely. I bought three bottles of this. It was only $7 for a bottle. Yeah, that's decent. 
That's really good. Yeah, I love, I like love, it. love it. So I use it in the morning, in the evening, between skincare steps, and sometimes I use it to set my makeup. Although I still love Mac Fix for that, mm. but this is amazing. Okay, good. Um, my second one. I'm surprised this isn't your favorites. It's going into a post, another post that I'm doing. Um, this is the L'Oreal Mega Volume mm. Miss Manga Mascara. First of all, I was very put off by the whole Miss Manga thing. Mm. Not particularly into Japanese cartoons. Um, and then I also saw a lot of really mixed reviews for this product. Mm. Like, people who either absolutely hated it, or people who just raved about it. So, and also I have like, more mascaras and it's really necessary to have. So I thought I'm not gonna buy yet another one. Then I saw my friend Lexi, whose YouTube channel I will link below. She's a singer-songwriter and she's just legit. She's got such skills, it's crazy. Um, she was wearing this the other day. This is the purple one. Mm -hmm. And the sort of light caught her eyelashes and I was like, what is on your eyes? <laughs> and she said it was this. And I thought, I'd seen it in the shop and I always thought it looked a little bit it's bright on scary. the tube because it, you know, like it's purple mascara. And I was like, this is not the 80s. So um, I went and thought, okay, if it looks that good on her, I'm going to try it. The thing that's so interesting about it is not only is it a sensational mascara, like mm. does not clamp, makes my lashes look absolutely amazing, really full and long and just luscious. Um, the wand is kind of, what's the word? Flexible? Yeah, it's got a joint halfway through, so yeah. it's kind of... It's Which I thought bendy. was a bit of a gimmick. I was like, how is that going to make it better? But there is something about it that makes it application much easier. Mm. The best thing about this um, color, and obviously it comes in black and it comes in blue. like a turquoisey blue, yeah. right? The thing about it is that it doesn't look purple at first glance. It doesn't actually mm. go on bright purple. I mean, I've got it on now and I, I doubt you well. can tell that it's purple. <laughs> but in the light, it looks purple and it mm. sort of really sets off green and blue and brown eyes. So it's mm. really flattering. Um, and it's just, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. I haven't put it down. I wear it on my bottom lashes as well and mm. I never never don't use my Clinique bottom lash mascara so you must know that stuff is weird. yeah I bought it after I saw it on you and I have not stopped using it yeah. sometimes I usually do I do wear it on its own but I also like it layered over a, just a, as a second coat over black mascara and then always always on the bottom I mean it's, yeah. it's crazy it oh, really so does good. lift your whole yeah. uh, area mm. okay I'm gonna do these last two together okay okay so this is the living proof perfect hair day five-in-one styling treatment which I bought from Sephora Probably the best hair treatment or hair styling treatment I think I've ever used. I have normally use the Mythic Oil from L'Oreal, um, which is lovely. And I've also got like, been through about three bottles of that stuff. But this is just... Ooh, it it's, just... It, it does what it says it's going to do. So it gives you texture. Yeah, it's kind of like a... Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's um, it promises to give volume, texture... It smooths your hair out, makes it sleek, and it does all of those things because usually when you use a product that's going to give you sleek hair, it just means it's going to be limp and lifeless, whereas this doesn't do that at all. You still have all of the movement and it just, it gives you rich girl hair. Who doesn't want that? Yeah. The living proof stuff in general. I've got the thickening cream. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Um, and my last one is my beauty blender. It's so clean. I washed it this morning. It was so <laughs> grubby. It is disgusting. I have to wash mine every time. I, well, I've got the Real Techniques one. Every yeah. time I use it, because I can't even cope with seeing it's makeup disgusting. on it. It freaks me out. Um, but this is just a really, really great application tool. Like you kind of push it and bounce it into your skin, and I think that the um, it just leaves a really flawless finish. Yeah. Not You're very natural looking as yeah. well. Yeah. Not Especially that you, if you dampen it. Yeah, I do. I do dampen it, but. Um, it's, it's not hugely, like you can still get that same finish using a brush, but there's just something about this that, I don't know, it just seems to almost like fill every little crevice mm. in your face with foundation. I think it makes the application extremely even, yeah. which you can't always get from a brush because yeah. sometimes that can be a bit tricky. Mm. Oh, they're really good. So, yeah. I do think it's expensive though. Sure. Because I mean, how often would you have to replace that? I mean, I, I don't, oh, I don't know if I will. It was $20. You can get it, yeah. You can get it on some websites, yeah. Can you? Mm. Okay. Yeah, maybe I would. Um, okay, my last favorite is a hair curling tong. It's not suggestive at all. <laughs> um, this right. is the Glam Palm Magic Wand. Very aptly named because it is magic. Um, I've had a lot of hair tongs in my time. Uh, I've never used GHDs to curl my hair because I don't need a straightener because <laughs> it's so naturally straight. Um, so I've always bought tongs instead and I've been using a Revlon one which is a little bit like the diameter of the tongue is slightly smaller than this um, for literally like the past eight years 
Um, and it's done a great job and I love it. And then I sort of, throughout the, those years, I was trying to find other ones, usually ones with a bigger barrel like this. Um, and I used, I tried a babless one, I tried a wall one. I just wasn't getting anywhere. They just My hair never held the curl. I don't know if it was a heat issue or I definitely need something that's ceramic because the metal ones don't work for me. But I don't know what it was. And then I was sent this to try and it is, I mean, from first use, it's just unreal. My hair stays curly all day, sometimes for two days. Um, it's got three heat settings and heats up so quickly you wouldn't believe. Um, I also, I can use it on low, normally I put it like, I put my hair curl on to like high, otherwise again the kind of curl doesn't stay, but I don't need to with this, so I can use a lower heat which means there's less damage to my hair. The hair looks, I mean this is, how long did this take me, like to do eight seconds. minutes like to do this, like so quick and just brilliant, I just love it, I think it's such a good tool, it's, it's exceptional. Um, so yeah, so I'll put the distribution details below of how you can get hold of this, but if you are looking for a really good quality hair tongue, they also do make straighteners, then I would look up the Glam Palm range. Um, the company is the company that first created the DHD, so they are, so they know what go. they're doing. So okay. yeah, that's, that's it. it. Yep. Cool. Well, that was it for Favourites for May. We will see you next month for June. Bye. Bye.